Well, 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 guys. It's your boy Quickie Nog, dropping some knowledge on ya. Would you guys believe it if I told you we were already ready for the next dungeon? Believe it or not, believe me or not, we are ready for the next dungeon. This one of which is the moon. I guess it'll be shaped like a moon. Makes sense to me. I say we go ahead and go after it. It feels really weird to be doing a dungeon right after a dungeon, considering you don't really ever do that in any Legend of Zelda game I can think of at the moment. Oh gosh, he snipped me with his nostrils. His snostril. Oh shoot, I cut like I didn't really matter. But yeah, we don't really because we did everything. Alternatively, I could have. I could have saved a little bit of the adventuring for um, after we got uh, done with this first dungeon, but I just didn't, I didn't have it in me. I just wanted to get done with it and get it out of the way, because personally, I this is probably one of the only games where the dungeons are my favorite. I mean, I think, hang on, let me... Let me make sure I have everything. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I didn't I didn't have to pay for the boomerang. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Stay back, heathens. Ooh. Yeah, the boomerang, I was trying to show that off, it didn't really work out. The boomerang just basically makes them stop and stay in place. not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little fuzzy on this location. I know it's... Actually, I think I got it. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think this is it. It is, okay. I knew it was around there somewhere, but some of those screens are weird where you have to go in a certain direction. I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, we're here. I feel like I was talking about something and I stopped. Oh yeah, it's one of the only games where I love the dungeons more than the actual like exploring, just because this game, I'm probably not the only one that thinks this, but the exploring is hard. Like, you don't just... Well, no, actually, I, that, it's the opposite. You do have to randomly stumble upon things in order to figure it out. There's not, you know, there's barely any help or hints, so that's definitely frustrating. Uh, but... You know, it's whatever. We're gonna go ahead and start this dungeon. The moon is blue. Yo, snakies. Oh, I I probably should know what these guys are called. Um. Uh. Actually. Okay, so why am I still flashing? Oh, it's because of the clock. So, I was halfway right, kind of, on the last dungeon. It bothered me, and I had to go look it up real quick. Um, so, first off, these guys, they're snakes, but for some reason they're actually called ropes. I, I don't know, maybe they look like ropes. Uh, not to me, they don't. Um, Stelfos, those were worth the skeletons were Stelfos. That's, oh, I, I wish I would have or thought that. Um, I was right about the bats. They weren't bats, they were keys. I, I could have sworn they were keys, but they just looked like bats. But they were keys. And then the one I was wrong about was, uh, what I called the shoes, or the choo choos. They're not shoes, they're actually just called gels. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> gel. Some of the names for these, like, some of them were really original, like, oh, that's so cool. And then other ones are like, Hey, let's name him Gel. Yeah, they like to charge at you too. They gang up on you and beat you up. No. No. I hate my keyboard's so touchy, like if I barely even do anything, it just wails on me. Ooh, ooh. Okay, whatever. I get a heart for that, so. Ooh. It's when you get in their line of sight. No biggie, man, no biggie. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, he wasn't. I wasn't really in his line of sight. It's pretty much anytime you get lined up with him. Oof. Yeah, get to that, Cloudy. All right, so I think I should just be able to go straight from this point. Okay. That was Hopefully there's not any reappearing enemies. Um, alternatively I can go straight. I I'm just gonna use this key. Also I have two keys. Okay. Oh, whatever. I'll end up going to every room. I look more gels. Compass! Okay, so we know the boss is at the very top. That's helpful. Should just be able to go from bottom to top. Also, don't forget this is called the moon, so it's supposed to look like a moon. You'll probably see that. I mean, I've already prepared for this, so like, I've already played this before, so I know what it looks like, but if you haven't, it, you know, the secret's out, it's gonna look like a moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your backs were up against the wall. Quite literally. See, that's what I'm talking about. I always get those the guys at the, you know, the very end. Oh, the map. Yay, you can see it now. It does actually look like a moon. Yeah, well, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, also the boss of the last dungeon, I just thought of it too. His name is Aquamentis. It's like Mantis, I don't know. Because he's like a dragon, but like he had wings. And I guess he was supposed to be a sea creature too, so he's like a... Think of like a mixture of a dragon and a Loch, Loch Ness mo monster. But I think those are already a mixture of things, so. Just imagine me fighting Loch Ness monster. If I think about it, that'll be the thumbnail for, uh. Yeah, I think that'll be the. Th not thumbnail, the, uh, title of the episode, the last one. No, it'll probably be the. It'll probably be titled like, uh. Oof. Oof. Oh, I got I got a bunch of things coming at me. Get away from me. A lot of this game is not like strategy, it's like rush in and stab. Oh I already got the magical boomerang, cause I'm magical. So get rested. Or I meant Oh wow. I can't believe I just said that. I combined roasted with wreck and said rested. Here we got a little, we got a little dude. That was really easy. That was incredibly easy. Yeah, that guy, I remember him being super scary and super hard. Um, let me make sure I went to all the rooms. Okay, so I need to go right. Yeah, I remember him being really intimidating and now it's like, whatever, you stab him, he's done with. That's really what it is, just cut off all the pe- oh gosh. Oof. Okay. Neat. Oh, wait a minute. This is a good time. Shut off. Okay. So, th it's not like this with every room and in every dungeon, but in some, let's say you don't want to get a key, you can blow it up with a bomb. And shoot, now my dog's barking. Ignore that. Frick. Um, but yeah, you can blow it up with bombs and alternatively not have to use some keys. Now, me, I... I don't want to waste bombs on that, so I'm not going to, and since I'm doing every room... Oh, look, a big one. That was only five! That's not even a big one. Someone tell my dog to shut up, please. I love my dog, but he's annoying. Ooh! Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, by the way, I'm officially a senior now, because our, our high school had graduation. Okay, good. I'm getting close. Oof. Oof. Yeah, so it, it definitely feels good. It feels weird, but it feels good. Oof. 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 I don't know how my dog and being a senior were related, but it's okay. Don't ask questions. Uh, no, I'm not ready. Uh, which one have I not run? Uh, okay. Can I bomb this one? I know there's- okay, I know for certain there's a room next to it. Um, 
I kind of drew out a map so I could kind of... I didn't even write down what was in each room. Okay, there we go. I just wrote down that there were rooms here. That's kind of cool. That's basically what you had to do in the olden days. You just had to fill stuff out on your own. Dodongo dislikes smoke. This is a semi-famous quote, I think, from this game. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's not very helpful if you have never played Legend of Zelda before. But if you have, then you know, hey, Dodongos in literally every game do not like bombs. And they had a really good, uh, you know, graphic designer for this. Oof. Look at that. Two bombs and a sword slash. That was easy. You know, that was easy. It's Once you know what you're doing, like, these dungeons are so difficult if you do not know what you're doing. But if you've done this before, like, the first playthrough is going to be so difficult for you. I, 10 out of 10 times, probably. If not 9 out of 10. Um, but, it, like, this is my third or fourth time playing through this. Uh, let me pause. No, I'll, I don't want to pause it, because that'll make the music all dead. Oh, okay, I'm back in the dungeon, everyone. We're going to redo this again. Just kidding. I gotta kill this dude. Can't let him insult me like that. Okay, that's fine. He got half a heart, it's whatever. Oh, shoot, that's a dude. Uh, okay. Um... Here, how about I'll do this. Okay, so this has been Legend Zelda with Quickie Nog. Um, yeah, that's that was the second dungeon. Um, we just got done fighting Baby Dodongo. Not Baby Dodongo, Dodongo. It's just Dodongo, not King Dodongo or anything like that. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, I already am looking at my plan. So, uh,. We're, the next episode, just a heads up, is going to be pretty much just like this one. In the sense that we're not doing anything before the next dungeon. So, I mean, this actually might end up going a lot quicker than I expected. Um, I thought it would take me longer, and I thought I would play a little worse, and die and restart, and the episodes would be longer. But, that's not the case. We were moving on, and what's funny, I think I told you that... One of them was going to be called the Kanji. It's not the Kanji. It's the Manji or Manji, whatever. So, yeah, technically they are all kind of animals except for the moon. But if you're weird, I guess you could call the moon an animal. Uh, but yeah, so... Actually, no, mm, that's for next video. Let me save it. I got an interesting note. I better end it before I give away spoilers. This has been Quickie Nog again. I'll see you guys for the next episode and the next dungeon. It will be interesting. Don't miss it. See you guys later.